so horrible. Reading. I can't believe Teacher Man's forcing us to go to the library and check out books. Johnny, the library does not hurt. You were saying? That books are filled with knowledge, and knowledge is power. No, having x-ray vision is power. Can a book give me x-ray vision? No, but reading books makes you smart. And if you're smart, you get a good job, and a good job means lots of money, which means you get rich, which means you're set for life, and that is power, my friend. You lost me at reading books. And there's only one thing I need to be set for life, and it's not in the library. Well, where is it? <laughs> Johnny, we haven't got all day. Don't rush me. <laughs> all I need is the yellow limited edition Speed McCool Action Racer, and my life will be complete. That's what you need to be set for life? You have dozens of those. Dozens of red, blue, and green ones. I still don't have a yellow, and I need to collect all four. So, you don't mind reading the back of cereal boxes? It's just boring old library books I can't stand. Johnny! I only got one shot at this, Dad. Why don't you just put on your x-ray glasses so you can see through the box and... Oh, yeah, there's no such thing. So pick a box already! <laughs> now go ahead, open the box. <gasps> I need you to make me a pair of x-ray glasses. Think of the good it could do for humankind. A tool that lets doctors look inside the body to diagnose diseases. That helps firefighters see hidden dangers. And helps frustrated boys look inside cereal boxes. We have considered it in the past, but the technology requires going into your brain and attaching microsensors to your optic nerve, which could go horribly wrong. How wrong? Either you'll be able to see through walls, it will damage your eyes so that you'll need reading glasses, or your head will explode. And that's bad, right? Very bad! And you should be at the library getting books, which will help you be set for life! <sighs> Let's go X-ray glasses, baby! <laughs> now hold still. This won't hurt a bit. It's gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> I've never seen you reading so intently. X-ray glasses, I love you. Johnny, have you checked out those books I assigned from the library? Um, I hate the library. Hate the library? Johnny, knowledge is power. Blah, blah, blah. I think I've discovered a way better power. Impossible. The knowledge we gain from books is what makes us human. Without it, we'd be nothing but mole people stumbling in the dark. I'm back! And ready to steal the source of the Earth Dweller's power! Books! Since knowledge is power, we're going to steal all of the books in Pork Belly, and then the world! The humans will become stupid, and we'll grow so smart and powerful that we'll take over! But boss, what if Johnny gets in the way? I have a plan where we won't even have to go above ground. <laughs> We're going to be geniuses! Don't eat the book, you idiot! I don't believe what I'm seeing. That lady had a 200 gigabyte Z-Box 360 in her shopping bag. It was a thing of beauty. Okay, so now that you've had fun with your glasses, isn't it time we go back to the library? No. Now that I have x-ray vision, I've decided I really am set for life. All right. Let me try this again, because I love you. Read books, get good job, money, set for life! Can x-ray vision do that, huh? Answer me! Quick, how much money do I need to be set for life? Let's see. If you were to invest wisely, marry only once, live in a good school district, and have 2.3 children... 2.3 children sounds cool. You'll need about $843,000. Right. And how does he get that? Well, you can read books, study hard, get a good job, and earn it. Yeah? How else? You can win it on a game show. 
Okay, Johnny, it's time to play... The $843,000 There was a dumb question, I know. We've placed 50 sinkhole bombs under the Pork Belly Library. When they detonate, the books will be sucked underground and fall into our soon-to-be-powerful hands. In five minutes, the books will be ours. And now to fire off a letter of warning to the authorities. I you're you're going to tell them what we're doing? I want to make the humans stupid, but I don't want to hurt anyone. We're mole people, not monsters. Susan, Mary, we need your help. Sisra the Mole King, or King of the Mole People, or whatever, is going to steal the library. You don't happen to have anything that could help us locate subterranean bombs, do you? Don't you already have bomb detecting equipment? Yeah. <laughs> bomb detector fight! <laughs> We're, uh, idiots, you know. But help us out. We can lose our jobs. Well, we do have something, but Johnny's the only one who can use it. Well, where is he? Okay, Johnny. One of these suitcases contains $843,000. One contains 39 cents, and the other contains a rabid mongoose. Now take your time, Johnny. Think real hard and pick the $843,000. Three. Final answer, not gonna phone a friend, a dog, or nothing. Number three. Let's open number three. Right after these commercials. Johnny, we need you to help us save books. Kinda in the middle of something? Sisra is planning to steal the Pork Belly Library. The whole library! And the problem is? The problem is, all of Pork Belly's books will disappear forever. And without books, we don't have any record of human history, of, of art, of literature. No chronicle of the human endeavor. Yeah, I really hate reading, so it's gonna have to wait until I'm done cheating. I mean, playing. There's no time. The bombs are set to go off in one minute. Dude, what's with all the disguises today? Not important. But what is important is helping humanity preserve the most important thing we need to survive after steak and clothing. And that is books. And we're back in three, two... Welcome back, Johnny Test. Pick suitcase number three, and... Uh, he left. Which means he's disqualified, right? <laughs> the Mongoose is attacking my leg! I'm very proud of you. Don't talk to me. In mere seconds, the books will be ours! Ooh, I can already feel all that powerful knowledge Filling my brain! <laughs> it's tingling! No, seriously, it's really tingling! Go, go, go! There's one there! Another one right here! Yes! We will rule the world! There, and there, and there! With only three seconds left. Wait, there's only... Got the kid. Two for some reason. 49 bombs here. Well, where's the other one? Where are the books? What happened to all my books? Ow, that really hurts! Oh, no! <laughs> oh will you lighten up? You lighten up! I was gonna be a genius! Knowledge is power! Knowledge is power! If I get you some books, will you calm down? <laughs> I don't have a library card. You can come with me and use mine, because I have a lot of books I need to check out. Can you get us some cool glasses that will cut down on the glare? <laughs> you know, it's very bright up there. <laughs> this library is amazing! I got a Harry Warlock book, 345 ways to prepare dirt, and this book on world domination! And I got my books for my project. You're putting your x-ray glasses back on? No, these are reading glasses. The x-ray glasses messed up my vision. 
He'll be fine in about a month. Knowledge is power, you know. I know, I know! 